Hey guys, so I'm going to do another haul because I went to the Dollar Tree and an antique store today. Excuse my hair, it's hot today. I washed it last night and it's not cooperating. So it's in a ponytail. <laughs> um, I also ordered some stuff from ThreadUp. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and show you that first because it's only a few things. So I got this guest wallet. Very cute. Can't remember how much it was, but it's just your one of the mill wallet, I think. And then I got this um, dress. It's hard to show in frame because I'm pretty close to the camera. And this is in a size 3XL and the brand is Grace Karen. And let's see, okay. It's white on top, black on the bottom, if you can tell. And then it has a tie around the waist. So yeah, it's kind of hard to show, but, um, yeah, <laughs> I like it. I thought it was cute. Obviously, otherwise I wouldn't have bought it. Then the other thing I got from ThreadUp is, ooh, this red dress. And this is in a 3XL, and it's from Shein. It looks like this. Is like the tank top straps it's like this goes all the way so yeah it's just kind of your standard well plain dress it does have a slit on one side so that's cool I might show pictures of them on just so you can see them better so I may or may not do that Okay, so the next things, uh, um, I'll show what I got at Dollar Tree, because I only got a couple things there. Okay, <laughs> um, I got this, um, storage container, and I want to put my wallets in them, because right now I put them in my purses, and I'm tired of having to look through all my purses to find a particular wallet, so, yeah. So I got this for, and then I also got this, um, like, Age Defy Dark Circle and Puffiness Serum. It's like the rollerball for your eyes. Um, I can't remember, like, the other brand or, like, you know, whatever knockoff this is or dupe, as people say. I don't think, I don't think people say knockoff anymore. I think they say dupe. Um, but yeah, it's supposed to be good for, like, Dark circles, puffiness, fine lines, and wrinkles. So I got that. Okay, now on to the antique store stuff. So you guys know me, I love purses. So I got this. It is a Michael Kors purse, and this was $39. Just looks like this. And they filled it with paper and I'm gonna throw that out and I'll show you the inside looks like this on the inside comes with a little thing you can put your keys on there's a couple pockets Ooh, actually four slip pockets and a zipper pocket that's actually nice I like that Okay, so there's that, and then also I got this uh, ring. You guys also know that I'm loving rings at the moment. And the way that they, well, they don't mark rings. They have, you know, sellers that they do. <laughs> um, here. The way that this particular seller marks their rings is, I don't know if they do it to trick you but 
It makes you think that you're getting a good deal. So this is listed as $395, which is a lot. But in the case, it says 90% off, like liquidation, everything must go. So this ring was $39, but it would always be $39 because everything in that particular case is always 90% 90, 90 off. So it kind of tricks you into thinking that you're getting a really good deal. But there's nothing on this ring that's worth 90 or $395 because it's cubic zirconia or whatever it's called and sterling silver. So, but let me show you the actual ring. I think it's pretty. I think it's really gorgeous. So whether or not it's like worth almost 400 bucks, which is not by the way, but it's still really pretty. And I don't think it's worth $40 in my opinion, but it is what it is. Okay, and then um, I got this uh, 1904 Indian head penny, I think. This was $2. I'm into like coins and collecting that because my dad is. He kind of got me into it. So yeah, this will be cool. And hopefully you can tell like the detail on it. It's kind of hard to tell because it's dark, but it's pretty cool. And it's like over 100 years old, so that's really cool. Okay, um, and then I got this book. It is Black Beauty. I had this book in this kind of like edition, maybe. I don't know. It was great illustrated, illustrated classics whenever I was a kid. And this was $9.95, which is what it originally was. So, it's not the best deal, but yeah. But also, there were two copies of this, and I got this, this particular one because I turned to a page. The first page I turned to, it had this in it. This prayer card to St. Raphael. Now, I'm not Catholic, and I don't pray to anyone besides God. But this is this is cool to me because it's just like God's everywhere. <laughs> so I thought that was really cool because it was like the first page that I turned to. So that's why I got this particular copy of it. Okay, last but not least, I got this um, cigarette box uh, made in England. I thought that was really cool. There's no glare. Now, I don't smoke, so I won't be using this for cigarettes, um, but I don't know if it has a year on it. That's what it looks like on the inside. Sorry about that glare. Let me see if I can... So I'll be using this, hopefully with my cards, but if I can, I'll be using this like as a card holder. And this is the back of it it doesn't say a year that I can tell it just says vintage tin cigarette box made in England 210 Piccadilly London I thought it was really cool I've been looking for a cigarette um, box because I saw someone on YouTube uh, that they use them for wallets so I wanted to try it in fact Let's see if my cards will fit in here. Hopefully, cause that's why I got it. But if they don't, I can, I'm sure I can find another use for it. Okay, let's see. Might be close. Oh yeah, cool. It's like a perfect fit. I'm not gonna show it cause I put my ID in it, but it fits perfect. That's what I wanted it for. So, Anyway, <laughs> all right, cool. So that's the um, haul. Okay. Oh, I bet that red dress would go well with these red shoes that I got from Shein. Okay, so this is really cool. 
but appointed to Her Majesty the, uh, the Queen, State Express Cigarette Manufacturers. That's pretty cool. I like that. Okay, anyways. So, and this was $9 if I didn't say that. So I believe that's everything that I got. If I didn't say, the Michael Kors bag was $39. Okay, so I love everything that I got. Even though the way that the person that sells it, the rings prices it weird. <laughs> uh, anyways, but I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.